Welcome to Hatman Strats Back Daily Boxing News. These are my final thoughts and my prediction for Anthony Joshua versus Daniel Dubois, the big heavyweight fight tomorrow night. Now, let's just get one thing straight about my perspective right away. As far as I'm concerned, both guys have got the power to knock the other man out. Both of them have been down multiple times in the past and they've both been stopped before. So it would not shock me at all if either man were to win here. Let me repeat that for the hard of hearing. It would not shock me at all if either man were to win this fight. And it could happen in any round. From the 1st to the 12th, it would not shock me. However, in my mind, one of them is more likely to win than the other. Now, my initial view on this fight was that AJ, who's the taller, rangier guy, would be able to nullify Dubois quite comfortably. Stay out of range, use feints, catch him with counters on the way in, and gradually pick him apart before taking him out somewhere around the 8th or the ninth. But the closer we've gotten to this fight, something in my subconscious is giving me the feeling that there's going to be drama here. I'm not sure what form that drama may take. Knockdowns, headbutts, a controversial stoppage due to a cut. Will one man hurt the other, go rushing in for the finish, then get caught himself like what we saw in the first AJ Ruiz fight? A first round knockout maybe? I really don't know. But I sense something dramatic is about to happen. Daniel Dubois, for the most part, is a do or die fighter. His mindset is either I'm going to stop you or you're going to stop me. Either way, one of us is going down. He's always looking for the knockout. The only time he didn't take that approach was against Usyk, where he was far less aggressive than normal. But Usyk tends to have that effect on damn near everyone. So Dubois is normally very aggressive. He's willing to roll the dice right from the opening bell. He uses that powerful jab to back his opponents up to the ropes, where he then likes to unload powerful combinations. And having watched the speed at which Dubois was able to move across the canvas at a public workout on Wednesday, how light he was on his feet, I now think he'll be able to close the distance on AJ much more effectively than I initially thought. And Dubois has the ability to work at a much higher pace than AJ. I think Dubois has got a better chin and is more physically robust all round than Anthony Joshua. But at the same time, I think AJ is the sharper, tidier, more accurate boxer of the two. He's the better counter puncher as well with the higher ring IQ. So for me, the outcome of this fight hinges on whether or not AJ can hit and hurt Dubois early. He doesn't necessarily need to take him out early, but if he can hurt him, he might be able to tame his aggression, make him more cautious, which will then allow AJ to slow the fight down to a pace he's comfortable with and pick Dubois apart in the manner I previously described. But if he can't do that, then I think AJ's in for a very rough night. Because as I said, Dubois is do or die. He's coming to try and knock Anthony Joshua out with the same ferocity and intensity that we saw in his last fight. Everyone's saying that if Dubois gets hit as often by AJ as he did against Hergovic, then he's going to sleep. And I agree with that. But what they're not asking is, can Anthony Joshua take Daniel Dubois' punches as well as Filip Hergovic did? And for me, the answer is hell no. Hergovic has a much better chin than Anthony Joshua. Much, much, much better. If AJ gets hit with the kind of shots that Hergovic took, then he's finished. He'll never be able to withstand that type of punishment. So it's absolutely crucial for AJ that his defense holds up here and that he manages to gain Dubois' respect and maintain it. It's no good hurting Dubois early than letting him back into the fight. He has to hurt him early, then keep hurting him, or at least buzzing him, at regular intervals to keep him in his box. Now, I've heard the Dubois crowd saying that this fight is a foregone conclusion. I've seen the comments on my videos. They think that Dubois wins easy. They claim that AJ has never beaten a young fighter, at least not one who is actually any good. They point to the fact that Andy Ruiz chinned AJ five years ago and he just lost unofficially to a guy that Daniel Dubois stopped, Jarrell Miller. They're saying that if Ruiz was catching and hurting AJ, Dubois can do the same, only Dubois hits a lot harder than Andy Ruiz. Well, I tend to agree that Dubois does hit harder than Ruiz, I'd also add that Dubois appears to be much physically stronger than Ruiz as well, judging by their respective performances against Jarrell Miller. Dubois was able to shove Miller off to an extent that Ruiz was not. However, Andy Ruiz, for all his limitations, has much quicker hands than Daniel Dubois. 
is a much better counter puncher. His chin is at least as good, if not better. And he's got a bigger heart. Furthermore, despite the fact that Alexander Usyk is a much older fighter, he's got even higher energy levels and better stamina than the 27-year-old Daniel Dubois has. And AJ did 24 rounds with Usyk. So I don't think Dubois's youthful exuberance will be as much of a surprise to AJ as his fans do. So what's my prediction? Well, despite Anthony Joshua's fragility, and the threat that Daniel Dubois poses, I'm still picking AJ to win this fight by knockout. What it ultimately boils down to for me is that I've got more faith in Joshua's skill and his boxing brain than I do in Dubois. I've got more faith in AJ's defense and in his ability to land a big punch first, at which point the question then becomes, can Dubois' chin and his heart hold out long enough for AJ to get tired like Filip Hergovic did? I don't think so. I reckon AJ hits a lot harder than Hergovic and he paces himself better. In a battle between AJ's power and Dubois' chin, I think AJ's power eventually comes out on top. That's how I see it. Let me know how you see it in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and share this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and I'll catch you on the next one. I'm out. Are you sick and tired of the mainstream mindset? Does the dogmatic conformity and pathological ignorance have you tearing your hair out in frustration? Then don't be alone. Come and join our brotherhood on Patreon. We stand as a beacon of reason against an army of insanity. You'll gain access to my weekly topical podcast where we take more deep dives than Jacques Cousteau on an endless variety of subjects. There's also videos, interviews, live Q&As, as well as a vast back catalogue of previous episodes, including my popular Confessions of a Nightclub Bouncer series. You can listen via the Patreon app or download in high-quality MP3. Connect with myself and hundreds of other members in our Element chat group. There's no contract, no commitment, you can cancel at any time, and it's cheaper than a Mickey D's McMuffin. Just head to my Patreon page via the link below this video and select the tier called The Brotherhood of Reason. I'll see you over there.